uh, YouTube. I got another rare build for y'all, a pass first guard. But hit that like button and hit that sub button. We're gonna get into it. This build gonna be a little different. We're gonna go shooting guard on this one. And you're gonna have Hall of Fame Dimer on this build, bro. This is really gonna be crazy, bro. We're gonna go 6'5, take your weight all the way down to minimum. And your wingspan, you're gonna max that out. So your wingspan does help for defense. So definitely gotta take that into account. And with this build, bruh, even though you had the shoe and guard, you could play shoe and guard normally, or you could run at straight point, bruh, with this build. Not even gonna hold you. We're gonna max out the speed, max out the acceleration. Your vertical, we're gonna go 70. And your stamina, you're gonna wanna put that at 96. Rock out like that. So off rip, bruh, definitely gonna hit the playmaking. And with 99 pass accuracy, you're gonna have Hall of Fame, Dimer, Bullet Passer, bruh, everything, bruh. Like, there's really some heat right here. Needle Threader 2, that is a great badge. Your speed with ball, we're gonna max that out. And you're just gonna take your ball handle up to 76. So that's gonna give you 30 playmaking badges. That's really some heat right there. And, bruh, you got the. You really got everything you need, like the stop and go, unpluckable, hyperdrive handles for days, bro. You still got those, and with 30, bro. Like, you don't just got, like, 20, 22 playmaking badges and everything. But we good right here. We gonna move on to the finishing, bro. So, for finishing, bro, we get in the contact dunks. You wanna go, my fault, we gonna wanna go 84 on the driving dunk. Your driving layup, you want to put that at 72. So you're getting 15. And your three ball is going to take up, well, your mid range is going to take up your uh, close shot. So we're going to leave that right there at 15. And, bro, that's really all you need for finishing. The, uh, the 84 driving dunk is going to give you the pro contact dunks. And those is hitting, bro. <laughs> Not even going to hold you. We're going to put on the three ball. Yeah, for a fact, we're gonna go to the three ball. But, bruh, yo, for your playmaking, this is really fire, bruh. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, you really could play uh, off the ball and everything. You could be like a secondary ball handler type type build and everything. But you still gonna be able to shoot, bruh. You still gonna be able to finish consistently. Everything, bruh. You're gonna put on your, uh, your three ball up to 82. And you can go 81 right here on your mid range. Free throw, we're gonna put that up to 70. And you go right here. Yeah, for a fact. So you got 25 shooting badges. And we're gonna take, we definitely wanna keep your, uh, your stamina at 95. I'm gonna see if we could get an uh, extra defensive badge though, because I'm gonna show y'all where we putting it at. But we uh i think i initially put your mid range up at 82 and everything you feel me so we dropped that we're gonna have a couple more points but what you got so far bro is tough and you really got pretty much a a, a playmaker type build bro and to have those on hall of fame like we just pretty much went down on the ball handle to get the pass accuracy high enough and everything because putting 99 pass accuracy on your build this year is Taxing, bro, like crazy. We're gonna go to the perimeter though, and you wanna go 77. Now we went 76 on this build, and 78 on your uh, on your steel rating. I'm gonna see if we could, yeah, we can't throw much on the block at all, and yeah, we can't lose that right there to get that 30. Take down that close shot, maybe. Yeah, we can't really throw the uh, the block rating right on there, but you can put on that uh, that silver intimidator. And you get another badge right here. Yeah, for a fact. So we gonna rock out like that. Probably. Yeah, you good right here. Yeah, you just put your uh, stamina, up and you good with that go 75 on the free throw but that pass accuracy bruh yo that that is really important in this game and bruh yo even after the patches bruh 
people still getting steals in the lane. So you definitely want to make sure you got that. At least, bro, you at least want to go for the Hall of Fame bullet passer. If you if you a playmaker, you feel me? If you a point guard build type like that and everything, you definitely want to make sure you got at least that Hall of Fame bullet passer. But you gonna have Hall of Fame dimer too with this build, and that's really crazy. But this we gonna rock out with. We gonna get into the takeovers, and you got the playmaking take, sharp shot creating, slashing. That's really tough, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. We gonna go with the sharp. And you can have a playmaking take too. So you go with the team ratings boost. And you go with that. So you got a pass first guard. With the contact dunks too, bro. That's some heat. Get right into the badges though. So for finishing, you wanna go gold limitless takeoff, silver posterizer, gold slithery. Yeah, giant slayer you could throw that on mouse in the house and yeah i probably i definitely rock out like that like that's perfect bro on to the shooting we're gonna go bronze on the blinders lucky seven sniper hall of fame silver high zone hunter catch and shoot corner especially bro yo you really got enough shooting badges bro <laughs> like this me a silver on the stop and pop and you could throw gold on this bill bro yeah that's tough yeah i probably rock it like that and go with the bronze chef bronze on the rhythm shooter and for your playmaking badges bro that hall of fame bullet passer bro you gotta have that on if you got a high enough pass accuracy to get it and it's really a big difference between gold and hall of fame on that bullet passer not even gonna lie silver hyperdrive you want to put on your special delivery stop and go quick first step needle threader you don't gotta have that on hall of fame but it's it's good to have it on bronze you do notice the difference so i would throw that on handles for days and you see bro you still got enough badges to throw on badges like space creator and tight handles and everything i probably would go with the silver on the uh, space creator though for sure and hold on you got the um puffable though you could throw that on bronze or silver rock i like that and still be able to put on the space creator and you good right there bro you can switch with the uh, the tight handles if you want. Or go with the bronze tight handles though, bruh. Bronze tight handles do hit. Onto the defense. You got clamps, interceptor, pig dodger, hustler, menace, and bruh, ankle braces. So you really got the perfect amount. You could go for more or you could use your college badges or your rep up badges to go on defense and that definitely will help. But this is what we gonna rock out with right here. That's really the badges that you gotta throw on though, bro. Like to be good enough on defense. You could go with less badges defensively and everything if you being smart with how you set them up. But seeing, knowing the type of badges that you need, knowing the badges that you actually need to have on, bro. This is really, perfect bro. like for real for real we gonna rock out right there though i'm gonna holler at y'all in the next one don't forget to hit that like button and hit that sub button be easy